Hey, what's up guys? Yes, it's your main man JB, and in this video, I'm going to show you how quick and simple it is to change your downlights. Check it out. Right then, so in the downstairs hallway, I've got three of these downlights. The one at the end is working, but the two, this one and the one just behind the camera, um, aren't working. So I've already changed this one over here and I've just got this one to do. Now these particular down lights that are in here at the moment, they are a sealed unit, which means you cannot change the bulb. If the bulb fails or the light fails, then you have to change the whole thing, which is a little bit annoying. And these are quite expensive. This particular one ranges from about 20 to 30 pounds each. And uh, I don't really want to pay 30 pound for one light. And so I have just bought myself um, two or three of these. And these are also fire rated. So this is fire rated, this is also fire rated. It's normally a good idea to uh, get a fire rated light or down light. And the big difference, let's get this noisy paper off. The big difference with this down light is that you can change the bulb. So I've got the lights, I've bought myself a pack of five GU10 LEDs which are cool white so you can either get warm white or you can get cool white so the one original one down here is cool white so I've bought a pack of cool white bulbs and as I said already you can replace them in here so you just take this off and then you've got the socket there where the bulb goes into so if these do go I can easily replace them but they do look very, very similar. You're not going to notice it at all. And um, of course they're fire rated as well, which is what I wanted. You can get these that aren't, they're a lot cheaper, but it's just better and safer if you've got a fire rated one. So let's get started, disconnect this and get this one fitted. Now the first thing you must do before you start mucking about with electricity is turn the power off on the consumer unit. And if you can, close it and lock it. I can't quite lock this one, but make sure nobody's gonna come along and turn it on. And another good safety idea is to put a sticker on it or a bit of tape on it and write on it, do not touch or do not turn on. At this point, I like to be extra safe and just put a an electrical tester to the cable to the light and as you can see no power so first thing we need to do is just take this cover off here now every bulb is going to be slightly different so just bear that in mind the ones that are going on have just got a little cap that hides the cables. And this one is a little bit tricky to, to get to, especially when you're trying to film it at the same time. There we go. So that just comes off. And as you can see, it exposes the cables. Bear in mind how the cables are inserted or the order that they're inserted, because on this block here, you've actually got live neutral, live neutral, earth, earth. Where on the other ones, you've got live, live, neutral, neutral, earth, earth. So always double check it, triple check it, make sure they're in the right terminals because uh, you don't want it to go bang, all right? So um, yeah, there we go. I'm taking this one off anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I have checked the other one and it has actually got L and N just sort of indented on the back there. So we can go ahead and take off the retainer. So once you've got that retainer off, we've then got to get these cables out. Now, a lot of these lights nowadays, you haven't got the uh, kind of screw terminals. You normally just have a push in a lever to pull up, put the cable in, let it go, that kind of thing. And this has got that, 
but these are very stiff. So give me a minute while I <laughs> struggle to get these out. Oops. So that was just the cover, not to worry, no damage. It's the old one anyway, that was just the cover. It's because I'm struggling and twisting it so much. There we go, there's our first one out. Right, there we go. We've got the old one off. Okay, so before we get carried away and start putting this light fit in or connecting the light fit in, what I want to do is to just double check that this is going to fix. Sometimes these can be a tiny bit bigger. I did check the size before I purchased them. But it's always a good idea. You don't want to start mucking about with the ceiling after you've connected it. And yeah, that's cool. There's plenty of room there. Obviously these springs go upwards. Um, but yeah, you can see there's a bit of wiggle room. So that's going to be just fine. So what we'll do now is open up this case here and we can connect that cable to this. So as you can see, I've opened up the case here. It's got a retaining clip on just like the other ones. I'm gonna take this off in a minute because that'll make that easier. But you can see we've got a neutral earth and live terminal. And it also has two cables. Um, you can put two cables in for each terminal, which obviously we've got. So uh, that's gonna be really handy. So it should be relatively straightforward from here. Um, I'll get this down. What I want to do here is just straighten out these cables a bit. So just by rearranging these cables slightly like so, it will just make it a bit easier getting them in that terminal. But what I'll do is I'll take this clip off because what you don't want to be doing is trying to push it through the clip and into the terminal at the same time. So we'll just take these screws off and all you do on here is actually push down and that opens up the terminal and then you just release it. So it should be pretty straightforward and fairly simple. Just get the two, we get the two lives together, get them ready in position, push that, push those cables down and they're in and there's somebody at the door. And then we do the same thing with the earths and line them up together. Sometimes you might need to get yourself a a pair of thin nose pliers, particularly on the earth, because it has these sleeves, it makes it harder to grab it and kind of force the cable down without actually moving the sleeve. So in position, down they go. And yeah, they're in, just the neutral to go. Right, they're in position, I'm going to grab them with the pliers and there. So that looks really neat to be honest. And it's very clear that the two browns go in the live, the two earths go in the earth and the two blues go in the neutral. Just double check those, make sure they're all in tight, they're not coming out. And uh, we're good to close this up and get it in. Get that retainer clip back on. You don't need to go really tight with these, but just enough that it starts to grip. Final check, all in, nice and neat. Earth sheaths are all covered, are covering the cable, and that looks really good. So we can just close that. Then we can just feed the cable up. So what we'll do is get the bulb in and these go in really simply bayonet fitting just like a standard light bulb make sure that's in what we need to do then is to actually put the bulb 
in this metal clip here. And that just clips into there and that keeps that onto the bulb like so. And we close that up, turn it, and that is good to go. We need to push these springs upwards. Now be really careful with these because these can be really strong and you really don't want that to snap and catch your finger. But once you've got it into the ceiling, just enough, then you can let go and then slowly push it up because the springs will push down onto the ceiling and you'll feel it suddenly pull up and just like that, it's done. So that looks good, that's all tight. What we need to do is get the power back on and check it out. Right then, so I'm just at the consumer unit and I turned that back on. Nothing's gone bang, so we're good. And then all we need to do, turn the light on. Yes, now I've got three working lights, fantastic. Brilliant, that's another little job done. So I do hope you found this video helpful, but the important thing to say is if you're not confident, if this all looks a little bit too much, do contact a professional, get yourself an electrician in to do the work for you. This isn't major work. If you are confident and competent at this kind of thing, then go for it, you know, as long as you turn the power off, be safe. But um, yeah, get a professional if you're not sure. Do bear in mind guys, if you have a go at it, it's at your own risk and no responsibility can be taken for anything that you might end up doing. Awesome, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Obviously these clips here have to go upwards. <laughs>